Hello and welcome to Marine Max Minnesota. My name is Max Kavanaugh. Behind me is the Harris 230 Sunliner Sport that we are going through today. It's an absolutely stunning boat. We're starting off on the exterior, then we're gonna move into the interior and go over all the features inside. So, looking at the exterior right now, you have this nice gray color with the black powder coated fence. It looks really sharp. You have the stainless steel docking lights up front. You have the stainless steel pop-up cleats right here. You have four of these throughout the entire boat. Chrome decals really contrast nice with the black and the gray. It looks really sharp. As we move back here, you're gonna have this nice big sports tower. It's got a tow point up there to tow your wakeboarders if you want to. It does have a bimini as well. It can open up that bimini top and give you lots of shade. Moving back towards the rear of the boat here, I wanna point out this beautiful safety wheel that we do have this boat optioned with. This allows you to sit back in the rear seats here, so it gives you more square footage on the boat, okay? You're also gonna have this nice big stainless steel tow bar. You can tow your skier from there, you can tow your tuber from there. And again, for wakeboarders, ideally, you wanna be on a higher tow point, so you can use the tower for that. This 230 Sunliner Sport is powered by a Mercury 200 horsepower outboard plenty of power for those water sports activities, okay? Let's move around the back here. I wanna point out this big stainless steel ladder that comes with this Harris pontoon as well. Very sturdy, pulls down like so. You have a bungee cord, and then you pull it down the rest of the way. It's nice, easy steps all the way up. So that's a really nice feature. It's really sturdy. You can really grab a hold of that to get out of the water, okay? So that was the exterior of this 230 Sunliner Sport. Let's go take a peek at the interior. All right, we are in the interior of this Harris 230 Sunliner Sport, and we're starting off in the back here. So on the left side, so your port side, you're gonna have three cup holders, all stainless steel. You have two USB ports back here so you can stay connected to your phones. This seat does open up and you have a cooler in here. You can throw ice and when it melts, there is a drain as well. You have two speakers back here and you will have a big storage compartment right here as well. Lots of space in there, dock lines, fenders, if you so choose to. Now you may be wondering why there is a bed in this boat. And to that question I answer, why shouldn't there be a bed in this boat? But in all reality, this is a great feature to have. This backrest folds all the way down. You have three different positions. So you have all the way down here, so it's a big lounging pad flip it up one more you can use it as more of a backrest flip it all the way back and now you have again your bench on this side to see forward into the cockpit and up into the bow okay you have two speakers down below here cup holder off to your left stainless steel your nice big sports tower here with a bimini top toe point on top for a wake order which i think is great you have a co-captain's chair in this particular model. Your captain's chair is on your right. Two stainless steel cup holders here so you can have your drinks just outfitted very nicely. The spacing is very generous, so you're not gonna feel cramped at all in this boat. You have in-floor storage because it's a tri-tune and you have that third full-length tune, which is great on this boat. Up in the bow itself, you have that movable cup holders. Underneath all of these seats is gonna be storage. And they are on supported hinges, which is great. You'll see the water management in here, around. So when it does rain, you're not gonna have any or hardly any water in your compartments. Depends on how hard it rains. Um, you're gonna have two cup holders on the right here, two cup holders on the left um, that are stationary with USB ports on each side. So four USBs in total, four cup holders in the bow in total two speakers as well so plenty of, of creature comforts in this boat that you will see one thing i will point out too is that this harris 230 sunliner sport does have the pillow top furniture so it's very plush it feels very nice on your back the bolstering is very supportive too i know in some boats some of the vinyls can be more soft and you feel like you're just sinking in this is not like that it's just very comfortable it's done really well so up in the bow, it is very comfortable and very well appointed, okay? We're gonna move to the helm seat in the helm area here. 
This little tray is very nice. You're gonna have a wireless phone charger right here so you can stay connected. Your 12 volt, your USB input for music, and your auxiliary input for music if you don't wanna use Bluetooth, you have that ability. You have your JL Audio head unit right here, volume control, switching your songs. You have a nice steering wheel here, very well designed, looks modern. Your SIMRAD screen is off to your right, so that's gonna display your chart, your engine information. Um, it's a very useful tool to have. You have all your toggle switches off to your right and your digital throttles off to your right as well. Your trim switch here, up and down. It's very ergonomic. You can sit in this captain's chair and it feels very comfortable and um, they've done a nice job with that, okay? You guys, this is the Harris 230 Sunliner Sport. It's here at the Marine Max Rogers location. If you guys have any questions, give us a call. Otherwise, come stop in and we'd be glad to help you out. Thank you.